Thank you for joining me once again on Crunch Econometrics. Today, still on our panel data series, I'll be showing you how you can use a bar chart to convey information from the structure of your panel data to the reading public. The tutorial panel data set is made up of three categorical variables, regions, income groups, and inequality categories. And I have the variable of interest, which is the ASCON variable, the Gini coefficient. Before I go ahead, I want to apologize to my online audience that I may not generally attend to all questions relating to e-views. So if you have any queries, you can assess any of these options for your answers. It is also important that you click on the e-views playlist in the video description and watch my video on import panel longitudinal data from Excel before you watch this video because this is a build up on what was done in that video. So today's tutorial, we cover how to generate bar charts showing the average unit coefficients across the regions, across the four income categories, across the four inequality categories, and also across the years. Then I'll also show you how you can generate bar charts to show specific statistics, either relating to a subcategory or a particular year. So if you are ready, please load your data and let us have some fun with bar charts. You can see my entire data here. Let me double click on the panel and you have an idea of what panel structure I have. I have 141 countries from Albania to Zambia. Albania takes country number one and Zambia takes country number 141. Each country has 13 observations from 2000 to 2012. So it's a very large panel data. And these are the three categorical variables or three factor variables. We have region, income group, and Gini category. So for us to make our panel data interesting to the reading public, we can use bar charts to communicate so much information that is inherent in this panel data. So to do that, you must always double click on your outcome variable because that is the statistic you want to show using the bar chart. So I'm going to double click on the Gini coefficient. Then I go to view. I click on graph. Now I'm in the graphics options. I'm going to change basic graph now to categorical graph. Because I'm talking about bar charts, I'll select bar on that specific. Because I'm also interested in the average value of the Gini coefficient, I'm going to change raw data to mean. You can see so many options here that you can use. So I'm choosing just the domain. And my first bar chart will be showing the average Gini coefficient across the regions. So under the within graph, I'm going to type in region. That is the first categorical variable I'm going to examine. Then I click OK. Now you can see the average Gini coefficient on a regional basis. But I want to improve this graph by showing the various statistics of each uh, region on their respective bars. So to do that, I click options here and I come to graph elements. Under graph elements, I select this bar area pi. I click it. And from here, you can see it is a no bar labels that is um, checked by default. So I'm going to click this label above bar. I don't do anything else. I click OK. So now you can see that each statistic is reflected on the bar. So at a glance, you can know the average Gini coefficient for each region. Next thing is that uh, I want to show you how you can sort in an ascending or descending order. The way the bar chart is sorted is sorted along the alphabetical ordering of the regional names. But I want to sort the bars according to the lowest and the highest Gini coefficient, so that at a glance, we can know which region has a low inequality index and which one has a high inequality index. To do that, you have to freeze the graph, then sort. So go to freeze, make sure that you are on the off graph is frozen, then click OK. Now that the graph is frozen, I right click and I select sort. Under the sort key, I open the drop down box for primary key here and I select series one. I want it to be in ascending order. I leave it the way it is. I click OK. It gives you a warning. Sorting cannot be undone. You may wish to freeze or copy the current graph before applying the sort. Do you want to proceed? Yes, I want to proceed. So now my graph is sorted in ascending order. So at a glance, I can see that countries located in Europe and Central Asia have low inequality, while countries located in Latin America and Caribbean have the highest inequality in this, my study. 
given the years I'm looking at. So this graph tells me a lot of information and I can write a lot of comparative analysis based on this graph alone. So now I want to show you the average Gini coefficients on income group basis. So always go to options from here. Then here I just modify region to income group. Once you know how to do this, you can modify it to any categorical variable that you have in your sample. So showing across income groups, I click OK. So you can see it's now shown across income groups. So if you want to sort in ascending or descending order, I've shown you how to do it. Make sure you freeze. Let me do it again. Make sure the off graph frozen is indicated. You click OK. Now the graph is frozen. You right click within the plots. Click on sort. Then under primary key, open the drop down. Select series 1. If you want it in ascending order or descending. So now let me choose descending. I select descending. I click OK. It gives you a warning. I want to proceed. Yes. So the graph is sorted. The bar charts now are sorted in descending order. So now you know how to do this. So next, I want to show you distribution of income groups across the seven regions. So I go to options. Under within group, I leave it the way it is, income group. And across the graphs, I type in region. I click OK. So we can see here, across the seven regions, we have the distribution of the average unit coefficients on income group basis. So looking at this graph alone, you can see a lot of things about what is going on in each region relative to their different income categories. In the same vein, I can show you the distribution of the inequality categories across the seven regions. All I need to do again is click on options. And here I modify it to Gini category. Click OK. So also on categorical basis of inequality, you can see what is going on in each region. So again, you can make a lot of comparative analysis on regional basis in relation to their level of inequalities. Now, supposing you want to look at a specific region and examine the nature of the Gini index. So we go to options. So here I can modify it to income group. And because I want to be specific now, I'm typing EAP as an example. So for region EAP, we want to examine the average Gini coefficients relative to the income groups in that region. So we click OK. So now we have our graphs. EAP equals 0 refers to other regions. EAP equals 1 refers to EAP region. So the statistic you are most interested in is this one that has EAP equals 1. So that tells you that within the EAP region, for countries classified as high income, low income, lower middle income or upper middle income, these are their relative average Gini coefficients. A lot of analytical uh, dynamics can be created from these graphs alone. So if you want to look at the distribution of the Gini coefficients for all the regions on a yearly basis, all you have to do is type in region here and under across graph, in the across graph box, you type in year. You click OK. So it shows you the distribution of the Gini coefficient on a yearly basis for each of the seven regions. It looks very tiny, but you can easily expand if you are copying to your MS Word and you see the coefficients clearly. Now I want to restrict my statistics to a particular region. I choose EAP. And I also want to restrict the statistics to a particular year, let's say 2010. So I want to know the average coefficient for EAP region for 2010. I click OK. So this is the statistic I need. You can see here 2010 equals 0, 2010 equals 1. 2010 equals 0 means other years. So this is the year I'm interested in, 2010 equals 1. And also within this graph, I'm interested in two EAP equals 1 because EAP equals 0 implies other regions that are not EAP. So this is what I'm interested in. So again, even with these two plots, you can see a lot of things about comparative analysis. That is, comparing countries in EAP region relative to their Gini coefficients and those outside EAP region. Also looking at um, specific Gini statistics, what if you want to look at the income groups and the category of inequality with respect to EAP region. 
So you type the two factor variables in the within graph section and under across graphs, I type in EAP. I click OK. So this one tells me a lot about um, countries that are not in the EAP region and countries in the EAP region, this one. And I can also see the distribution of those countries in the EAP region along the lines of high income countries, low income countries, uh, lower middle income countries and upper middle income countries. So a lot of analysis can also be uh, obtained from these two plots alone. Comparatively, you can say a lot of things about this outcome. So lastly, what if you want to look at um, these two categories, that is the income group category and the inequality category in a particular year? So in the across graph section, you can type in year equals 2010. You click OK. So you can see here in year 2010, these are the statistics. Anytime you see year 2010 equals zero tells you other years, not 2010. And year 2010 equals one tells you this is the year I'm interested in. So specifically, you can relate the average unit coefficient to in any of these um, statistics and make good comparative analysis from what you can observe from the bar charts. So I'll just simply say that uh, try your hands on the graphic options in eViews, play with it, because the more you practice, the better you become. Thank you for staying with me. Graphs convey information aptly. I hope to see you next time. Please support my channel for 1,000 subscribers. If you have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button, share my videos, share the links to your friends in other platforms. Crunch Econometrics is devoted to beginners and intermediate users.